Well, tonight, it's been nearly two weeks since Takaya Young died after being shot by a Blinden Township police officer in a Kroger parking lot. And the family's big message tonight is accountability. Police have been, uh, have put the officer who shot Young on administrative leave, but the family and their attorney saying that's not good enough. TV's Ashley Bornanson spoke with them today. She's alive tonight with their message. Ashley. Andrew Yolanda, the family of Takaya Young says they are demanding for the immediate termination of the officer who fatally shot the 21 year old pregnant woman, citing he violated police policy and should be indicted for murder. Justice delayed is justice denied. The young family attorney Sean Walton says they are demanding swift action to achieve accountability after Takaya Young was shot and killed two weeks ago in this Kroger parking lot in Blendon Township. We obtained the Blendon Township use of force policy. In the press conference, Walton uses this document to question the officer's use of force. The document states, quote, shots fired at or from a moving vehicle involve additional consideration and risks and are rarely effective. When feasible, officers should take reasonable steps to move out of the path of an approaching vehicle instead of discharging their firearm at the vehicle or any of its occupants. Young's grandmother, Nadine Young, also argues the officer's approach toward Young, yelling and cursing at her to get out of the car, escalated versus de-escalated the situation. I believe he was a bully and he came at her like a bully and that scared her with that baby in her stomach. Do you think she felt safer not complying than complying then at that point? Yeah, because he came at her wrong. He came, he didn't come at her like a nice regular police. He came at her nasty, real nasty. And tonight I have reached out to the Blended Township Police for comment on the family's claims, but they have not yet responded. Reporting live in Blended Township, I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10TV News.